Welcome to Agric DIY, your home for smart and sustainable cocoa farming tips. In today's video, we are diving into a powerful technique that can double or even triple your cocoa yield. Artificial hand pollination. We will take you through each step from identifying the right flower to pollinating like a pro. You will learn the major benefits of this method and before the end of this video, I will personally provide free bonus tricks and a pro tip on the best time to pollinate your trees and the types of flowers to avoid when pollinating your trees. Before we proceed, you can check the link up here for our detailed step-to-step -step guide on how to establish a high yielding cocoa farm. But please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any valuable cocoa tips. Again, you can share our content with family and friends. Now. Pollination is essential for cocoa pod formation. Naturally, cocoa trees rely on tiny insects called midges to transfer pollen. But here is the catch. Natural pollination is inefficient. Studies have shown that only about 5-10% to 10 of cocoa flowers turn into pods naturally. That's where the hand pollination comes in. With just a simple tool and effort, you can boost cocoa pod formation to over 70%. In Ghana, training farmers on hand pollination and providing them with forceps helps to boost cocoa production. This intervention is especially useful for low yielding trees and farms, off season production, and when insect activity is very low. More pollination is equal to more pods and a higher income, which every farmer wants. Here is what you need for artificial hand pollination in cocoa. You can use a soft fine brush or the forceps. Again, you need a transparent container, a label tags or color strings for making trees or for marking trees and the flowers. Optionally, you can use scissors and pruning knives. And another optional tool that you might need is the magnifying lens for beginners. In Africa, Forceps are used in cocoa hand pollination to transfer pollen from one flower to another. This technique helps to increase the number of flowers pollinated and subsequently the yield of cocoa pores. This is why forceps are used for cocoa pollination. Smaller flowers. Cocoa flowers are small and their intricate structure requires precision during pollination. Again, while mages, the tiny insects naturally pollinating cocoa flowers, their effectiveness can be limited, especially in monoculture farms. And then again, hand pollination using forceps allow farmers to manually transfer pollen from male flowers to female flowers, ensuring a successful fertilization. Now, let's go to the identification of the right flowers. In identifying the right flowers, you look for mature freshly open cocoa flowers. They are usually open early in the morning and stay receptive till only one day. Optionally, flower inducers can be sprayed ahead of time to boost the flower emergence for a successful pollination activities. In the next chapter, we will look at the pollination process. This is a detailed practical demonstration of the pollination process. Stay tuned, don't miss any step. We will be giving you a free bonus trick as usual before the end of this video, which will blow your mind. Stay tuned. Good morning. This is what we are here. The baby is cocoa pollination. Now, because of cocoa pollination, I just say, cocoa, you have to say, you have to say, and you have to pollinate in the whole other. If it has any above foam, I was a chin of foam wound in the first place. Now, yes, you shake or quire, I might and shall need be brain so so into me and pollinating them. And only a male cocoa, you ever can say cocoa bema. It's me, my flower be brave by into me pollinating them. It's a better flower, no, a free male cocoa, no, a fancy cocoa bema. Now, yet they are pollinating cocoa mana. It's me, ma, and kuma. And I say it's me, Esso, and my own. And I'm a show 
a brown soa, ya de aye pollination ye. A free June, a bessie, I guess. A free June bessie, I guess, the dinner, cocoa. They were saying, Midian, Nanny, Mamma, and I feel so. Tom, why a day aye pollination, you were four more, aye fifty eight to one. You say free one look for the navy and unwired me. Tis an oh ya a bet ye go by banning in that ye go and I make an essay any ye. And I face a whoop of four months and I say, Sure, Muna. I will share in three day better. Mistress and many, we say, Oh ya, you sure no car. A bet pro de a day I ain't in a powder nair. And I dare that a little and no nina, a friend, no nams in sooner no dainty. And I face up a so bird drones you swear. So wish you were for an answer and never who knew, sir. I was a wobble drew, a drop be a dancer, and a buckle coon who be an. Bet me a boss head drew, and said by a bell one man's and letting me a unity. Yes, I will fire a so more quiet man and send in me who couldn't want who can in over bucket. And for M. Y. M. Merrill. So I will dress you cocoon. And not just a cocoon, a drawn of mine, send me a boss of mine, I say. The noble and Sabbat me a quack, so if you say they are one or two, so they will be now no. I bet plenty keeps you a be born at the art one and ten times. So, so talatal home. Me now bet it's here for you. Now, what proco cono? I was son of a class, a bear, the church, and when I send him in a bit me, a program, a boy bishop, so cran will bet me at the art, a house. And so in so times, and any man waffle, and a panel. Look at our yard. And one, I'm saying, sure, and shall And a pin and so our day, and we'll be making sure that pin and so on for us. I'm not far. What's the pouring grace in the world anymore? A bell for Emma Winting and Fanny Polynesian. Bia, obey Bia, no better than so severe. The next day, no bow bones, se Jerry, my year, and a Jerry say me, yeah. I'm so ashamed and soon into the wind, said Jerry Wyatt. I must say, in the same be bow of my own, say, for the nation, or yen, or one armor, and the same be a bow of home. You're better, Bermano, and on that, Matty, a gummy conquer you know. I was a way, and so I will pet conquer a moo a moo da honour, said Bayer, and from a bit to me, I from nothing to so, Uber Bonny Bonny Moon to crew, even from a firm, yes, sir. And she ain't a bit to me, I am married. We send from my firm. And I pin to say a dee any, a friend a faucet. No, any a dee, it's no, a dee can you know, a will conquer him, obey you back, we say. A will conquer him. Will you flower now? A was so five. It's a five, no. Who do pin the bear ra a mu? Now were ye pouring grace na a war flower any mono. And on an hour day, a bell pollinated and shining eye, a female cocoon, never in a circle cool barn. It is an abeano. Rebecca no ka crabby, bones are no nebby. Who bet me a jalla tano, sebe be pollinating them up and so sure. O piney, we are obejanessa. Where we bear three days to one week over banner, I shall say a brown. Now get into two weeks, you call on Plumano. I shall see a in the word. I'm one with a Juma, a year Juma, and I say, I you. The anti means or so we are upon nation, anti me and family. Who go and say a betier? Ben yelling in a betier, gnam say we and ye ain't yelling in a betier, mark mark be, and they be a anti mean in a betier. Say na ye yano. You may ye free me say. And then I may ye a crammy. And to order one, sir, me a no a besom, a crabby. Nadi, and she ain't ne wa no no. I go cano, get you a baby. What they cana? We won't say no no. I pay. I pay. They be ne wa no. I what they can eat me man a pay. Tis a pay. They need she ain't na. What they go cano na no na. Eat me a pay. As I need to ye ne kak ye ne boko. I say by a pay. I no. I'm pro. I'm frano. I be na masen ye a masen de be ye fufu. May I a pie? I
Mi pa yu ye no me jai, e di asha no, se be ya, e be ye ju mantem, amame. First step is that, you collect your pollen using forceps, because forceps are used to gently pick a pollen from the male part, that is the stamens of a cocoa flower, and stored in the container. Alternatively, you can use a brush or tweezers to gently remove the anthers, that is the yellow part of the tips from the flower, that just opened. Then you tap or brush them into your container to collect them. In the next step, you apply your pollen. Here, the collected pollen is often carefully transferred to the female part, that is the stigma of another flower. And alternatively, you can find a receptive flower on another tree. Then you gently lift the hood-like structure called the petal to oppose the stigma. This is where the pollen must go. Using your brush, apply the collected pollen onto the stigma. In the third step, you wrap and wait, which is optional. The pollinated flower may be wrapped with a small piece of material like raffia to protect it and ensure a successful fertilization. In the fourth step, you tag the tree or the flower. You tie a small string or tag on the tree stem to mark that it's been pollinated. This helps to track later progress and poor development. And in the next chapter, we will look at the aftercare and the monitoring. Here, after 5 to 7 days, you check your pollinated flowers. The successful ones will begin to swell. This means a pod is forming. Those that weren't fertilized will dry up and fall off. You have to keep your cocoa trees healthy with proper pruning, mulching, fertilizer application and watering to support the pod growth and subsequent maturity. Again, we'll be looking at the benefits of the artificial hand pollination. The first one is that it helps increase pod yield. By increasing the number of su successfully pollinated flowers, hand pollination leads to a higher number of developing cocoa pods that eventually boosts the yields of your cocoa farm. Again, it offers a higher fruit and set percentage also, artificial hand pollination offers a better shaped pores and more uniform quality. Again, it is ideal for off-season flowering. And lastly, it helps boost the income with minimal cost to the farmer. These are the bonus tricks that we'll be talking about before this video ends. You have to make sure that you should be gentle because the cocoa flowers are delicate. Again, you keep your tools clean and dry to avoid contaminating the pollen. Also, you have to use the pollen from different trees to improve free fruit quality. So don't use the same flowers or the same pollen from the same tree to pollinate it. Use different trees pollen to pollinate different flowers. And the pro tip is that the best time to pollinate is between 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. And lastly, you have to avoid old or wilted flowers as they won't work. So if you intend using old or wilted flowers for your pollinating activities, you should be rest assured that it will not work. So all the wilted flowers are not needed in this part. In Ghana, cocoa farmers are encouraged to adopt hand pollination as a key practice to increase cocoa production through providing training and free forceps. So there you have it. It is an easy step-by-step -step guide to artificial cocoa hand pollination. Start small, be consistent, and you soon see big results on your farm. If this video helped you, give it a like. Share it with fellow cocoa farmers. Subscribe for more tips to boost your yields and grow smarter. Let us know in the comment section. Have you tried hand pollination before? What were the results? Was it encouraging?